Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for this week's computer and internet tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you Mango Languages, which is a really fun website with interactive exercises for learning a new language. I think they have something like 70 languages on there you can choose from. I really like the website because it is free. Uh, I've seen similar websites um, and similar language services, and generally they charge a fee for them, um, especially the ones that are as robust as Mango Languages. So I really like that it is free for our patron users. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to get signed up on Mango Languages and then walk you through the interface. You'll want to start off at the Balch Springs Library homepage, which is balchspringslibrary.org. And I'm already here on the homepage. If you scroll about halfway down, you'll see this icon for Mango Languages. Go ahead and click on that and get linked to the Mango Languages Balch Springs Library Partner page. Um, if you go through our homepage, um, you should get connected here and Balch Springs Library should be selected as your organization. If you do not have an account with Mango Languages, go ahead and sign up for an account by clicking on this button here. You can use it as a guest if you just kind of want to see what Mango Languages um, um, looks like and want to play around with it a bit. However, using Mango as a guest, uh, your progress will not be saved. So generally learning a new language takes more than just uh, one session at the computer. So I do recommend signing up for an account so that your progress will be saved. To sign up, you'll just need your email address. You'll need your library card number, which is the number on the back of your library card underneath the barcode. And you'll need to create a password for Mango Languages. Once you fill out this information, you'll just click this big blue sign up bar. I already have an, I already have an account, um, so I'm just gonna get signed into my account. I'm gonna go back to the home page and log in. When you first sign up for Mango Languages, you will actually be presented with um, a list of all the languages that Mango offers, um, with the most popular at, at the top. Um, I've already signed in and started lessons, so um, Spanish is already selected and um, is the first thing that shows up for me. So Mango breaks up their language courses into um, units. Uh, if you look on the left hand side of this page, you'll see um, the menu for this course. Uh, this course, the Spanish course, has five units and each unit is broken down into chapters and each chapter has lessons. There are also specialty units um, for, for several of the languages and these are units that kind of get just straight to the point. Um, if for example, I needed to learn Spanish specifically for business settings, then I could click on this specialty unit and learn um, words and phrases that are specific uh, for business use. Um, they have romance, legal, medical, um, and not all of the languages have all of these options. Some have more specialty units, some have less, um, but those are really nice if you have those options and um, need them for the specific setting like romance. So again, units are broken into chapters and chapters are broken down into lessons. I'm just gonna click on um, this first lesson which is inside of chapter one, which is part of unit one. And we'll take a look at what these lessons look like. 
So at the top here, I can see that I'm inside of Unit 1, Chapter 1, Lesson 1. There are 24 slides that are a part of this lesson. I'm on the first slide, which is generally just showing you the goals of that lesson. Um, if you notice this little, um, this little black uh, drag bar here um, allows you to navigate through, through the slides. And I'm going to go ahead and stick with this first one and get started on my lesson by clicking the start blue bar here. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to easily participate in a conversation like this. Hola, ¿cómo está usted? Buenos días. Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Estoy bien también, gracias. ¡Qué día tan frío! Bueno, que tenga un buen día. Igualmente. Adiós. So generally, the second slide is just showing you the phrases that you'll be learning in that lesson or in that chapter. You can always click on this little speaker icon to re-listen to a phrase that was spoken. Hola, ¿cómo está usted? ¿Qué día tan frío? And when you're ready to move on to the next slide, you'll just click next. Let's learn how to say hello. Hola. Hola. You can always re-listen to the audio for that slide by clicking on this um, little circular arrow, this replay icon. Let's learn how to say hello. Hola. And I'm going to move on to the next Did slide. you notice that although hola starts with the letter H, it is not pronounced? The letter H is always silent in Spanish. Now, how do you say, hello? Hola. You can always click show answer to um, quickly reveal the answer. Hola. Now, let's learn, good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Nice. Now, practice saying, good morning. You can also just wait for the timer to um, finish and it'll automatically show the answer at the end of that. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Using what you've learned, see if you can figure out how to say, hello, good morning. Hola, buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Here is how you would say, Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. So, that's how um, many of the lessons go. Um, you learn some phrases, you can hear the correct pronunciation of them, um, and then you, you do a, a little review. Um, at the end of every lesson is a small review, at the end of each chapter is a, a, a little bit of a larger review, and then at the end of every unit um, is, a, is a pretty big review of everything um, that you've gone over. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main menu for this language. I'm just going to click this X here in the top left hand corner to leave this lesson. Each lesson takes about 10 to 15 minutes to go through, so it's not a huge time commitment, um, just to set aside a, a few minutes a day. Um, the goal of Mango Languages is first to get you um, um, having at least some small conversations, some small chit chat, um, and then as you go on with just that 10 to 15 minutes a day, um, eventually becoming more fluent in the language. You can learn multiple languages at one time. You can have um, a few courses going at the same time. Um, it is actually recommended to learn more than just one language at a time. Um, for some reason, studies reveal that your brain um, picks up on uh, the new languages if you're learning more than one. Um, to add another language, you'll just click on the language icon on the top left hand corner. And you can actually um, either search specifically for the language that you are wanting to learn, or you can kind of scroll through and see what options there are. Generally, the more popular ones are going to be listed first. 
and then the others are um, listed in alphabetical order. And I'm just kind of scrolling through here so you can see which languages are offered. So to add another language to your course menu, you just click on the language and then click Start Learning. And now we have another language here that we can begin learning. And um, to go back to another language, you just click on the language icon and you can see um, in your menu here the languages that you're current that you're currently learning. And you can click on any of them, click on resume to resume learning that language. Another thing I'd like to point out is next to each chapter uh, is this little goals button. And it shows you what the goals are for that particular chapter. It's, it's really nice to um, use that if you just wanna see what you'll be learning, but also really useful um, if you need to go back and review something uh, to make sure that you are in the right chapter um, for going back and reviewing. And then additionally, um, you do have some additional tools. Uh, this little translate tool is, is really nice, um, a really nice feature of Mingo languages. So that's going to be pretty much it for Mango Languages. I hope that you guys will take advantage of it. It is free, um, again, for Balt Springs Library members, which is really nice because I have seen other services uh, similar to this that generally charge for it. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Have a good weekend.